New Headway Elementary, 4th edition, by Liz and John Soares. Class CD. Published and copyright, Oxford University Press, 2011. CD 1. Unit 1. Tape Script 1.1. The Alphabet. A. B. C. U V W X Y Z Tape script 1.2 Hello Hello, what's your first name? My name's Bill. And what's your surname? Fraser. How do you spell that? F R A S I E R. And where are you from, Bill? I'm from Chicago. I'm American. Thank you very much. Tape script 1.3. Hello, my name's Carla. What's your name? David. Where are you from, David? I'm from Bristol. Where are you from? I'm from Bristol too. Oh, nice to meet you. Tape script 1.4. One. What's his surname? Fraser. Two. What's his first name? Bill. Three. Where's he from? Chicago. Four. How old is he? Thirty. Five. What's his phone number? Three one two five double five zero seven four nine. Six. What's his email address? B Fraser at gmail dot com. Seven. Is he married? No, he isn't. Tape script one point five. One. What's her surname? Two. What's her first name? Three. Where's she from? Four. How old is she? Five. What's her phone number? Six. What's her email address? Seven. Is she married? Tape script 1.6. Rick's family. My name's Rick Wilson, and I'm from London. I'm 19 years old, and I'm a student. I go to Kingston University. I have a brother and a sister. My brother's name is Edward. He's 16, and he's at school. My sister's name is Rosie. She's 23, and she's married. I live with my parents and my brother in a house in West London. My father, Peter, is a salesman, and my mother, Helen, is a teacher. I'm not married, but I have a girlfriend. Her name's Lily. She's lovely. My family really like her. Tape script 1.7 1 I go to Kingston University. Two. I have a brother and a sister. Three. I live with my parents in a house in West London. Four. My family really like Lily. Tape script 1.8. One.
Where are you from? Two. Are you from London? Yes, I am. Three. How old are you? I'm fifteen. Four. Are your sisters married? No, they aren't. Five. I like you. You're my friend. Six. Hans isn't from Germany. He's from Switzerland. Seven. Is your mother a doctor? No, she isn't. Eight. I am not Italian. I'm French. Tape script one point nine. One. She's from Italy. Two. What's his name? Three. Your English is good. Four. Where's she from? Five. He's a teacher in England. Six. We aren't English. Tape script one point ten, spelling. One. My name's Vanessa. That's V A N E double -S, S A. Vanessa. Two. My first name's Joseph. That's J O S E P H. My surname's Bowen. That's B O W E N, Joseph Bowen. Three. My name's Katie Matthews. That's Katie, K A T I E, Matthews, M A W -T, T H E W S. Four. My email address is g dot hunt eight at yahoo dot com. That's g dot h u n t eight at yahoo dot com. Five. My email address is zach dot yates at gmail dot co dot uk. That's zach. Z A C dot Yates Y A T E S at gmail dot co dot uk. Tape script one point eleven. Anna Lisa's blog. Day one. Welcome to my blog. It's in English. Hello, I'm an Italian student. I'm in Notting Hill. London, England. I'm here to learn English. My English family are the Wilsons. Peter, the husband, and Helen, the wife, have three children: Edward, sixteen; Rick, nineteen; and Rosie, twenty-three. Rosie's married. They're very friendly, but they speak very fast. It's difficult to understand them. Day three, my first day at school. Today is my first English class at Saint Martin's College. It's a big school in the centre, in a Covent Garden. It's near a lot of shops, cafes, and theatres. It's great. My class is very international. The students are from Mexico, Japan, Egypt, Spain, Hungary, and Switzerland. Our teacher's name is Charlotte. She's very young, and she's very nice. I really like her. She's a good teacher. Day ten. I love London. 
Hello again. It's great here. I love London. It's big but interesting. I like shopping, but it's very expensive. I go to the parks. They are really beautiful, and I go to museums and galleries. The National Gallery is free. I go by bus or by underground. It's very easy. The weather's okay, cold but sunny. The food is okay too, and the coffee is great. There are a lot of Italian coffee bars in London. Check out my photos. Tape script one point twelve. One. Where's Annalisa from? Italy. Two. Where's her school? In the centre of London. Three. What's her teacher's name? Charlotte. Four. What's her family's name? Wilson. Five. Where's their house? In Notting Hill in West London. Six. How old are the two brothers? Edward sixteen and Rick's nineteen. Seven. Is the weather okay? Yes, it is. It's cold and sunny. Tape script one point thirteen. One. Goodbye, Annalisa. Have a good day at school. Thank you, Peter. And you have a good day at work. Two. Good morning, Annalisa. Where's your homework? It's here, Charlotte. Three. Hello, Cristo. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Four. A ticket, please. The National Gallery is free. Oh, good. Thank you. Five. A coffee, please. Certainly. Here you are. Tape script one point fourteen. My family isn't very big. I have a sister, Andrea. She's eighteen, and a brother, Richard. He's twenty-five. They're not married. I'm married. And my wife's name is Isabel. We have two children: a daughter, Nancy, that's N A N C Y, she's four, and a son, Tom, he's only six months old. We live near my parents. My dad's name is John, and my mum's is Odile, that's O D I L E, she's French. My grandmother lives with them. Her name's Marie. She's my mum's mum. Tape script one point fifteen. One. Hello, Sally. How are you? Okay, thank you. And you? Fine, thanks. Two. Hi, Pete. How are you? All right, thanks. And you? Not bad, thank you. Three. Good morning, Mr. Simpson. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? Fine, thank you. Four. Hello, Mrs. Brown. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Not bad. Tape script one point sixteen. One. Bye, Mom. It's time for school. Goodbye, darling. Have a good day. Thanks. See you later. Two. Good morning. Good morning. 
Uh, can I have a coffee? An espresso, please? Yes, of course. Anything else? No, thank you. Three. Good afternoon. Can I help you? No, thank you. We're just looking. Oh, that's okay. Four. Frank, this is Gina. She's from our New York office. Hello, Gina. Nice to meet you. Hello, Frank. Pleased to meet you, too. Five. Oh, thank goodness it's Friday. Bye, Ian. Bye, Derek. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Same to you. See you on Monday. Six. Good night. Sleep well. <sighs> good night. See you in the morning. Unit 2. Tape Script 2.1. Two outdoor jobs. Engineer, Andrew Johnson. Andrew 30 is an engineer. He comes from New Zealand, but now he lives in Scotland. He works on an oil rig 440 kilometers from the coast of Aberdeen. He works 12 hours a day for two weeks, and then he has two weeks holiday. He earns 200 pounds a day. In his free time, he goes to the gym and plays snooker. He isn't married. Zoologist Claudia Luke Claudia, 41, is American. She's a zoologist and she teaches at a university. She lives in California and works with her husband, Jim, at the research center in the Mojave Desert, where she studies snakes and other animals. She likes working in the desert. In her free time, she writes songs and walks her dog, Brewer. She earns about $60,000 a year. Tape Script 2.2 S Likes Works Writes Walks Z Comes Goes Earns, plays, is, teaches. Tape script 2.3. 1. Andrew is an engineer. Claudia is a zoologist. 2. She comes from the US. He comes from New Zealand. 3. He lives in Scotland, she lives in California. 4. She works in the desert, he works on an oil rig. 5. He earns £200 a day, she earns $60,000 a year. 6. She likes her job and he likes his job too. 7. He goes to the gym in his free time. She walks her dog. Her dog's name is Brewer. 8. She's married. Her husband's name is Jim. Andrew isn't married. Tape Script 2.4 What does Andrew do? He's an engineer. Where does he come from? New Zealand. Does he live in Scotland? Yes, he does. Does he live in New Zealand? No, he doesn't. He isn't married. He doesn't have any children. Tape Script 2.5 Does he play football? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Tape Script 2.6 1 where does Andrew work? On an oil rig. Two. Does he work hard? Yes, he does. Three. How much does he earn? Two hundred pounds a day. 
four. What does he do in his free time? He goes to the gym and he plays snooker. Five. Does he like his job? Yes, he does. Six. Does he have a dog? No, he doesn't. Tape script 2.7. One. Darcy comes from London. Two. She lives in England. Three. She has two children. Four. She plays tennis a lot. Five. David's English. Six. He works in Paris. Seven. His wife comes from Miami. Eight. He writes songs in his free time. Tape script 2.8. One. Darcy comes from London. Yes, that's right. Two. She lives in England. No, she doesn't. She lives in Australia. Three. She has two sons. No, she doesn't. She has two daughters. Four. She writes stories for children. Yes, that's right. Five. David's English. No, he isn't. He's French. Six. He works all over the world. Yes, that's right. Seven. His wife comes from Miami. No, she doesn't. She comes from Senegal. Eight. He writes songs in his free time. Yes, that's right. Tape script 2.9. Talking about family and friends. One. My husband comes from Belgium. Where exactly in Belgium? From the capital, Brussels. Two. My grandmother lives in the next town. Does she visit you often? Yes, she does. Every Sunday. Three. My mother loves reading. What does she read? Detective stories. Four. My father travels a lot in his job. Where does he go? He's in Berlin this week. Five. My sister speaks Spanish very well. She wants to learn French too. Does she want to be an interpreter? No, she doesn't. She wants to be a teacher. Six. My little brother watches TV a lot. Oh, what does he like watching? Sport, 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 and um, football. Seven. My friend Tom writes a blog on the internet. What does he write about? Everything and everybody. Tape script two point ten. One. What does your sister do? She's a student. She wants to be a doctor, so she studies a lot. Two. Does Peter like his new job? No, he doesn't. He works very hard, and he doesn't earn a lot of money. Three. Is that your dog? No, he isn't. He's my mother's. He goes with her everywhere. She loves him a lot. His name is Boris. Four. Your friend Ella speaks English very well. Yes, she does. She goes to England every summer. Five. What does your grandfather do all the time? Well, he watches TV a lot, but on Saturdays he plays golf with friends, and on Sundays he visits us. Tape script two point eleven. One. He likes his job. 
two. She loves working. Three. He isn't married. Four. Does he have three children? Five. Where does he go? Tape script 2.12. Improving style. David Guetta, the superstar with 70 million hits on YouTube. David Guetta is French. He lives in Paris, but he works all over the world. He's a very famous DJ. He's number three in the top 100 DJs poll. He works with a lot of pop stars, such as Britney Spears, Celine Dion and Madonna. He sometimes writes songs for them. He really likes Lady Gaga and he wants to work with her. His job's very exciting and he likes it a lot. He's married to Kathy. She comes from Senegal. She's a businesswoman and an actress. They often go to Ibiza. Every year they have parties there. People love their parties. Kathy and David have two young children and they love to spend time with them. Tape script 2.13 An interview Can I ask you some questions about your school? Yes, of course. How many students are in your school? There are 650 now. That's quite a lot. And how many teachers? Ten teachers. And what time do your classes start? Five o'clock every day. How much does it cost? Oh, the school is free. Very good. And your teacher, what's your teacher's name? Babu Ali. He's only 16. 16? That's amazing. Is he a good teacher? He is very good indeed. What does he teach? He teaches English, Bengali, history and maths. That's a lot of subjects. Does he work hard? Oh yes, very hard. He studies all day and he teaches us every evening. He's the best teacher in the world. Tape script 2.14 Jobs 1. She's a hairdresser. She cuts hair. 2. He's a pilot. He flies from Heathrow Airport. 3. She's a receptionist. She works in a hotel. 4. He's an architect. He designs buildings. 5. She's a lawyer. She works for a family law firm. 6. He's a taxi driver. He knows all the streets of London. 7. She's a journalist. She writes news stories. 8. He's a dentist. He looks after people's teeth. 9. She's a nurse. She works in the city hospital. 10. He's an accountant. He likes working with money. Tape script 2.15 1. What does your brother do? He's a journalist. He writes for the Times newspaper. Oh, that's a good job. 2. What does your father do? He's an accountant. He works for a big firm in the city. And your mother? What does she do? She's a teacher. She teaches French and Spanish. 3. Does your sister work in the centre of town? Yes, she does. She's a receptionist. She works in the Ritz Hotel. Oh, that's near where I work. 4. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. I'm a nurse. Oh, but I want to see a doctor. 
Five. I want to be a pilot when I'm big. I want to be a lawyer. They earn lots of money. Pilots earn a lot too, and they travel the world. Tape script two point sixteen. What time is it? It's five o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's half past five. It's half past eleven. It's quarter past five. It's quarter past two. It's quarter to six. It's quarter to nine. It's five past five. It's ten past five. It's twenty past five. It's twenty-five past five. It's twenty-five to six. It's twenty to six. It's ten to six. It's five to six. Tape script two point seventeen. What time is it? One. It's nearly three o'clock. Two. It's just after five o'clock. Three. It's about half past two. Tape script two point eighteen. One. Excuse me, can you tell me the time, please? Shh. Yes, of course. It's just after six o'clock. Thank you very much. Two. Excuse me, can you tell me the time, please? I'm sorry, I don't have a watch. Never mind. Three. Excuse me, what time does the bus leave? At ten past ten. Thank you. What time is it now? It's about five past. Five past ten? No, no, five past nine. You're okay. No need to hurry. Four. When does this lesson end? At four o'clock. Oh dear, it's only quarter past three. Unit three. Tape script three point one. Lisa's two jobs. Hi, I'm Lisa Parsons. I'm 24 years old, and I live in New York City. I'm always very busy, but I'm very happy. From Monday to Friday, I work in a bookstore, the Strand Bookstore in Manhattan. Then on Saturdays, I have another job. I'm a singer with a band. It's great because I love books and I love singing. On weekdays, I usually finish work at six o'clock, but sometimes I stay late until nine or ten o'clock at night. On Saturday evenings, I sing in nightclubs in all parts of the city. I don't go to bed until three or four o'clock in the morning. On Sundays, I don't do much at all. I often eat in a little restaurant near my apartment. I never cook on a Sunday. I'm too tired. Tape script three point two. One. Where do you live? In New York. Two. Do you like your job? Yes, I do. Three. Do you relax at weekends? No, I don't. Four. Why don't you relax at weekends? Because I sing in nightclubs. Tape script three point three. Hi, Lisa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Now, I hear you often sing in nightclubs here in New York. That's right. I love singing. And how old are you, Lisa? I'm twenty-four. And do you live in New York? <laughs> yes, I do. I live downtown near the river. And where do you work? I work in a bookstore, the Strand Bookstore in Manhattan. Hmm. 
What time do you finish work? Well, I usually finish at six o'clock, but sometimes I stay late until nine or ten o'clock. But I always finish at six on Saturdays because I sing in the evening. How many jobs do you have? <laughs> Just two: the bookstore and singing. And do you like your jobs? Oh yes, I love them both. Why do you like them? Because I love singing and I love books. I'm lucky. I love my work. What do you do on Sundays? Oh, I don't do much at all. I often eat in a little restaurant near my apartment. Do you sometimes cook on Sundays? Never. <laughs> I'm too tired. <laughs> I understand that. Thank you very much for your time, Lisa. My pleasure. Tape script three point four. One. Lisa, why do you like your job? Two. Where do you live in New York? Three. What do you do on Tuesday evenings? Four. She really loves singing. Five. She eats a lot. Six. What does she do on Sundays? Tape script three point five. Talking about you. One. What time do you get up? At about seven o'clock on weekdays. Two. Where do you go on holiday? To Turkey or Egypt. Three. What do you do on Sundays? I always relax. Four. When do you do your homework? When I get home. Five. Who do you live with? My mother and brothers. Six. Why do you like your job? Because it's interesting. Seven. How do you travel to school? Usually by bus. Eight. Do you go out on Friday evenings? Yes, I do sometimes. Tape script three point six. In my free time, Andy. I play tennis a lot. I'm no good, but I like playing. When do you play? Oh, summer usually, but sometimes in spring and autumn if it's sunny. Roger. My favourite sport is skiing. I go skiing with my family every year. We all love it. When do you go? Always in January or February after Christmas. We go to France. And are you a good skier? I'm okay. My wife's good. The kids are really good. But I'm just okay. Linda, do you go to the gym every day? Yes, I do. Every day, every morning before work. And do you go swimming there? Yes, I swim every morning too. Do you go to the gym? Well, uh, no, I don't. I like my bed in the morning. Ben and Josh. You like a lot of sports, don't you? Oh yeah, my favourite is windsurfing. Me and my brother go to surf school every summer, and、uh... and we play golf and football, of course. All outdoor sports? Uh, no. We watch sport a lot on TV, and we play computer games after school. Not a lot of time for homework then. Well.、Uh... Sandra and Brian. In winter, we love evenings at home. What do you do? Watch TV. Well, yes, sometimes. We like all the cookery programs. I love cooking. Oh, we love those programs too, but we often play cards on winter evenings. We like cards too, but we only play when we're on holiday in summer. It's a holiday thing in our family. What do you play? Well, usually we play. Tape script three point seven. One. I often watch TV. Two. 
I sometimes watch French films. Three. I always listen to music in the car. Four. I don't play the piano. Five. I sometimes play cards with friends. Six. I go dancing a lot. Seven. I go shopping every Saturday. Eight. I get up late on Sundays. Nine. I often cook dinner for my friends. Tape script three point eight. Song. Tape script 3.9. Dr. Susan Hall. The work-life balance. Of course, work is important for us all. It gives us money to live. It gives structure to our everyday lives. But for a happy, balanced life, it's also important to play sometimes. It's important to find time to relax with friends and family. It's not good to think about work all the time. I know from my work as a doctor that it's sometimes difficult not to take your work problems home. But if you take your problems home, you never relax, and it's difficult for your family and bad for your health. Don't live to work. Work to live. Life is more than work. Tape script three point ten. One. Bye. Have a nice day. Thanks. Same to you. See you later. Two. I'm sorry I'm late. The traffic's very bad this morning. Never mind. Come and sit down. Three. What's the matter, Harkan? Do you have a problem? Yes. I don't understand this exercise. Four. Can I open the window? It's really warm in here. Sure, good idea. It is hot in here, isn't it? Five. Can you help me? What does bilingual mean? It means in two languages. Six. Do you want a macchiato? Pardon? Can you say that again? Seven. Excuse me. Is this seat free? Yes, it is. Do sit down if you want. Eight. Parlez-vous français? I'm sorry. I don't speak French. Nine. Hi, Harkan. How was your day? Good, thanks. Really interesting. How about you? Tape script three point eleven. One. Bye. Have a nice day. Thanks. Same to you. See you later. Right. At about four o'clock. Well,、uh, school doesn't finish till four. Oh, okay. See you about four thirty then. Two. I'm sorry, I'm late. The traffic's very bad this morning. Never mind. Come and sit down. Thanks. We're on page twenty-eight. Three. What's the matter, Harkan? Do you have a problem? Yes, I don't understand this exercise. Don't worry. I'll help you with it. Oh.
Thank you very much. Four. Can I open the window? It's really warm in here. Sure. Good idea. It is hot in here, isn't it? Very. Thanks a lot. That's all right. I think we all need some fresh air. Five. Can you help me? What does bilingual mean? It means in two languages. Oh, right, of course. I need to buy a bilingual dictionary. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good idea. Six. Do you want a macchiato? Pardon? Can you say that again? A macchiato. Do you want a macchiato? Sorry, what is a macchiato? It's a strong white coffee. Uh, yes. Okay, fine. I'll try one. Thank you. Seven. Excuse me, is this seat free? Yes, it is. Do sit down if you want. Thanks very much. That's very kind. Not at all. Are you a new student? Yes, I am. Are you having a good time? Yes, it's getting better. Thanks. Eight. Parlez-vous français? I'm sorry, I don't speak French. Oh, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Can I help you? No, don't worry. I need some help with my homework, but I can do it. All right. Nine. Hi, Harkan. How was your day? Good, thanks. Really interesting. How about you? Oh, not bad. Just another day at work. Well, tomorrow's the weekend. Yes, thank goodness. Unit 4. Tape Script 4.1 Living Room Sofa DVD Player Armchair Bookshelves Mirror Kitchen Cooker Fridge Table Oven Washing machine Street Bus stop Post office Cafe Pavement Chemists Traffic lights Tape script 4.2 A flat to rent Here's a flat in Queen's Road. Is it nice? There's a big living room. Mm hmm. And there are two bedrooms. Great. What about the kitchen? There's a new kitchen. Wow. How many bathrooms are there? Uh, oh, there's just one bathroom. Is there a garden? No, there isn't a garden. It doesn't matter. It sounds great. Tape script 4.3. Is there a shower? Yes, there is. Is there a fridge? Yes, there is. Is there a dining room? No, there isn't. How many bedrooms are there? Two. How many bathrooms are there? One. How many armchairs are there? Two. Are there any pictures? No, there aren't. Are there any bookshelves? Yes, there are. Are there any carpets? No, there aren't. Tape script 4.4 Prepositions 1. The flat's in Queen's Road. 2. It's on the first floor. 3. It's above a chemist's. 4. The chemist's is next to a clothes shop. 5. There's a mobile phone shop opposite the clothes shop. 
Six. There's a post office near the flat. Seven. The bus stop is outside the cafe. Eight. There's a bench under a tree. Tape script four point five. The flat's near the centre of town. It has four bedrooms, a lovely living room with views over the town, and two bathrooms. The kitchen is very big, and there's a dining room next to it. The flat's on the second floor. In the living room, there are two sofas and an armchair. There are a lot of pictures on the wall. There's a carpet in front of the fire, and there's a TV and a DVD player. There's a table in front of the sofa. Tape script four point six. A new flat. One. She has some plates. Two. She has a lot of clothes. Three. She doesn't have any glasses. Four. She has some pictures. Five. She has a lot of CDs. Six. She doesn't have any mugs. Seven. She has a lot of shoes. Eight. She doesn't have any towels. Nine. She has some cups. Tape script four point seven. This, that, these, those. One. How much is this lamp, please? It's forty-five pounds. Two. I like that picture. Yes, it's lovely. Three. How much are these glasses? They're fifteen pounds. Four. I love those towels. They're fabulous. Five. Look at those flowers. They're beautiful. Six. Do you like this kettle? Yeah, it's a great color. Seven. How much are these mugs? Five pounds each. Eight. Look at that coat. You don't need any more clothes. <laughs> Tape script four point eight. What's in your bag? What's in my bag? Well, there's my phone and my purse, of course. I have some pens. I always have some pens. A blue one and a red one, and there's my diary. I need to know what appointments I have, and I have a lipstick. Oh, and keys. I have some keys. My house keys and my car keys, and that's all. Tape script four point nine. Describing your home. My new flat. My new flat is near the center of town, so I often walk to work. It's not very big, but it's very comfortable. There's just one bedroom, a living room, and quite a big kitchen with a table in the center. This is good because I love cooking, and I can invite my friends to dinner. The living room has one big window. It faces south, so it's always very sunny. I have two comfortable old armchairs, but I don't have a sofa because the room is quite small. There isn't a garden, but there's a small balcony in my bedroom. I want to put a chair there so I can sit in the sun on summer evenings. I love my new flat for many reasons: the big kitchen, the sunny living room, but most of all, I love it because it's my first home. Tape script four point ten. It's wonderful. They're awful. She's fantastic. 
Tape script 4.11 1. Do you know Alice has a new boyfriend? Really? Is he okay? Mm, he's lovely. Oh, what's his name? James. Good for Alice. 2. Ben has a new flat. Wow, where is it? In the centre of town. Is it nice? Oh, yes, it's fantastic. The living room is fabulous. 3. What a horrible day. Yes, it is. Rain, rain, rain. It's terrible weather at the moment. Oh, well, tomorrow's another day. 4. Mmm, this is an excellent meal. Thank you. I'm pleased you like it. And the wine is wonderful. Where is it from? I think it's French. Yes, it is. French. 5. I love your shoes. They're great. They're nice, aren't they? They're Italian. The colour's amazing. Red. Wow. 6. We have a new teacher. Her name's Nancy. Is she nice? No, she's awful. I hate her. Why? I don't understand her. She talks and talks and talks all the time. Tape script 4.12 1. Look at Angela's car. It's a Mercedes. Wow, they're really expensive. Is it fast? Very fast. 2. Does Tom have a lot of money? Well, he has a really beautiful house with a very big garden and a swimming pool. Mm. He's very rich, isn't he? 3. Do you like my new jeans? Yeah, they're really nice. What make are they? They're Prada. How much were they? They weren't expensive. Well, not very expensive. 4. Look, that's Peter's new girlfriend. Mm, she's pretty. How old is she? 28. Wow, that's old. 28? That isn't very old. 5. Maria's very clever, isn't she? Oh, yes. She's really intelligent. She knows everything. Do you like her? No, not really. She isn't very nice to talk to. No, I don't like her either. Tape script 4.13 8 10 12 15 20 32 45 60 76 99 187 250 300 a thousand a million tape script 4.14 one and a half Two and a quarter. Six point eight. Seventeen point five. O two O seven four eight one six four nine O. O seven eight six one five double six seven eight. Tape script 4.15 1. There are 30 students in my class. 17 boys and 13 girls. 2. I live at number 62 Station Road. My mobile number is 07629 34480. 3. My father works in a big hotel. There are 460 rooms on 16 floors. 
Four. The population of my town is two hundred and eighty thousand. Tape script four point sixteen. Numbers and prices. One. How much is this book? Six pounds fifty. Two. How much are these pictures? Twenty-four pounds each. Three. I only earn eighteen thousand pounds a year. Four. How much is this car? Nine thousand five hundred pounds. Five. Just this postcard, please. That sixty p, please. Six. Can I have these jeans, please? Sure, that's forty nine dollars. Seven. How much is a return ticket from Paris to Madrid? A hundred and fifty euros. Eight. There are about one point four dollars to the euro. New Headway Elementary, fourth edition, by Liz and John Saws. Class CD. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, two thousand and eleven. CD two. Unit five. Tape script five point one. Superman. Superman comes from the planet Krypton. He can fly at the speed of light. He can see through walls. He can jump two hundred and fifty meters. He can speak every language. He can turn back time. There's nothing Superman can't do. Tape script five point two. Alfie and Ivy. Superman's fantastic. Hmm. What can he do? He can do everything. No, he can't. Yes, he can. He can fly at the speed of light. He can see through buildings, and he can speak every language in the world. Tape script five point three. He can speak every language in the world. Really? I don't believe that. Well, he can. Can you speak any languages? Yes, I can. I can speak French and Spanish a little bit. We learn them at school. Well, I can speak French too. Oh yeah. I can say bonjour and merci. That's nothing. You can't speak French at all. Well, I can skateboard. You can't. I don't want to skateboard. I like other things. What about skiing? Can you ski? Yeah, I can ski a bit. But my mum and dad can ski brilliantly. I love skiing. I can ski really well. Okay, okay. We can do some things, but Superman can do everything. There's nothing Superman can't do. Oh, you and Superman. Remember, he's not real. He's only a. Tape script five point four. One. Can you speak any languages? Yes, I can. I can speak French and Spanish. Two. You can't speak French at all. Three. I can skateboard. You can't. Four. Can you ski? I can ski a bit, but my mum and dad can ski brilliantly. Five. Superman can do everything. There's nothing Superman can't do. Tape script five point five, grammar and pronunciation. I can speak French. Can you speak French? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Tape script five point six, Ivy can't cook. Can you? So what can I do? Speak a foreign language. Hmm. Well, yes, I can speak French and Spanish a little bit, but just holiday Spanish. 
Cooking? No, I can't cook at all. My mum can. She's a fantastic cook. Mm, sports. Well, I think I'm quite good at sports. My cousin Alfie says I'm not because I can't skateboard, but skateboarding's not a sport. I can swim, of course. <laughs> Everyone can swim, can't they? I can swim very well. I like swimming, and I like tennis. I can play tennis quite well. But skiing is my best sport. I love it. And I can ski really well, really fast. Musical instruments. Uh, well, no. I can't play any musical instruments. My dad can play the guitar brilliantly, and my mum can play the piano a bit, but I can't play anything at all. Tape script 5.7. 1. She can speak Spanish a little bit. 2. She can't cook at all. 3. She can swim very well. 4. She can play tennis quite well. 5. She can ski really well. 6. Her dad can play the guitar brilliantly. 7. Her mum can play the piano a bit. 8. She can't play anything at all. Tape script 5.8. Can or can't. 1. She can cook. 2. I can't hear you. 3. They can't come to the party. 4. Can you see my glasses anywhere? 5. You can't always get what you want. 6. Can you do the homework? Tape script 5.9 1. What day is it today? What day was it yesterday? 2. What month is it now? What month was it last month? 3. Is it sunny today? Was it sunny yesterday? 4. Where are you now? Where were you yesterday? 5. Where are your parents now? Where were they yesterday? 6. Are you in England now? Were you in England last year? 7. Can you ski? Could you ski when you were 5? 8. Can your teacher speak a lot of languages? Could your teacher speak English when she was seven? Tape script 5.10 1. It was Monday. 2. We were at school. 3. Was it sunny? Yes, it was. 4. Was it cold? No, it wasn't. 5. Were you at school? Yes, we were. 6. Were they at school? No, they weren't. Tape script 5.11. Mark Yu, pianist. He was born on January the 5th, 1999, in California, USA. He can play the piano and the cello. He could play the piano when he was three. He could play the cello when he was four. 
Last year, he played with Lang Lang, the famous Chinese pianist in New York. They were a big success. Tape script five point twelve. Cleopatra Stratton, singer. She was born on October the seventh, two thousand and two, in Moldova near Romania. She could sing beautifully when she was just two years old. When she was three, she made an album, La Vasta de Treani. Her album was a big success. A hundred and fifty thousand were sold round the world. Tape script five point thirteen. Pablo Picasso, October the twenty fifth, eighteen eighty one, to April the eighth, nineteen seventy three. Hey, look at that painting. It's a Picasso. Oh yes, fantastic. Where was Picasso born? In Malaga. Ah, so he was Spanish. Yes, he was. Were his parents rich? Well, they weren't rich and they weren't poor. His father, Don Jose, was a painter and a professor of art. His mother, Doña Maria, was a housewife. So was Picasso good at drawing when he was young? Oh yes, he was a child prodigy. He could draw before he could speak. His first word was lapiz, which is Spanish for pencil. Wow, what a story! Tape script five point fourteen. Noun plus noun. One. Excuse me, is there a post office near here? Yes. Can you see the bus stop over there? Yes, I can. Well, it's next to the bus stop near the traffic lights. Thanks. Two. I can't find my sunglasses. Not again. Look in your handbag. Where's my handbag? It's in the living room. Oh yes, there it is, and there they are. Three. Excuse me, is there a petrol station near here? A petrol station? Yeah, go past the railway station and the car park. It's just before the motorway. That's very kind. Thank you. Tape script five point fifteen. Verb plus noun. One. You send a lot of text messages. I know. My mobile phone is my best friend. Two. Do you earn a lot of money? What a question! Mind your own business. Three. Do you live on the third floor? Yes, I have a great view. I can see right over the town. Four. Do you wear a suit and tie when you go to work? No, no. Where I work is very casual. I wear jeans and a t-shirt. Five. Can you play the guitar? Yes, I can, and the piano, and the violin. Six. Can you ride a motorbike? I can. Do you want to come for a ride? You can sit on the back. Seven. Can you drive a car? Of course not. I'm only sixteen. Eight. You have a full-time job. Who looks after your children? They go to play school. Nine. Do you watch TV a lot? No, not really. Just in the morning, and in the evening, and sometimes in the afternoon. Ten. I can't speak any foreign languages. I can, German and Spanish. Tape script five point sixteen. Prepositions. One. Do you like listening to music? Yes, of course. I have it all on my iPod. Two. 
What sort of music do you like? All sorts, but especially jazz. Three. Where's your girlfriend from? Is she Mexican? No, she isn't. She's from Brazil. She speaks Portuguese. Four. Is Paula married to Mike? That's right. Do you know her? Five. Do you want to come shopping with me? Oh, yes. Can you wait a minute? I'll get my coat. Six. Were there any good programmes on television last night? I don't know. I was on the internet all evening. Seven. What do you want for your birthday? Can I have an iPhone? Or is that too expensive? Eight. Can I speak to Dave? Is he at work today? Sorry, he's on holiday all this week. He's back next week. Tape script 5.17. Polite requests. One. Can I have a coffee, please? Yes, of course. Two. Can you open the door for me, please? Sure. No problem. Oh, thanks. Three. Could I have the menu, please? Certainly, madam. Four. Could you tell me the time, please? It's 10.30. Thanks a lot. Tape script 5.18. Can I... Can I have a... Can I have a coffee, please? Could you... Could you tell me... Could you tell me the time, please? Tape script 5.19. One. Can I have a cheese sandwich, please? In white or brown bread. Two. Could you post this letter for me, please? Yes, of course. No problem. Three. Can you give me your email address? I think you have it already. Four. Can I speak to you for a moment? Can it wait? I'm a bit busy. Five. Could you lend me twenty pounds till tomorrow? I can lend you ten, but not twenty. Six. <laughs> can you give me a hand with this box? Of course. Do you want it upstairs? Unit 6. Tape script 6.1. Oprah. TV star and billionaire. A. The woman. Oprah Winfrey is a famous American TV star. She lives in California, but she also has an apartment in Chicago where she works. Oprah is one of the richest women in America. She earns millions of dollars every year. She gives a lot of money to charity. Tape script 6.2 B. Her childhood Oprah was born on January 29, 1954 in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. Her parents were very poor. Her father, Vernon, worked in a coal mine and her mother, Vernita, cleaned houses. They couldn't look after Oprah, so she lived with her grandmother, Hattie Mae. Oprah was clever. She could read before she was three. When she was 17, she received a scholarship to Tennessee State University, where she studied drama. She also started reading the news at the local radio station. Tape script 6.3 Watched Interviewed Studied Talked Moved. Started. Earned. Opened. Tape script 6.4. C. Her success. 
In 1984, Oprah moved to Chicago to work on a TV talk show called AM Chicago. She talked to lots of interesting people about their problems. Oprah says, people's problems are my problems. The show was very successful, so in 1985, it was renamed The Oprah Winfrey Show. 49 million people in 134 countries watched it every week. In 1993, she interviewed Michael Jackson, and 100 million people watched the program. Last year, she earned $260 million. Her charity work. In 1998, Oprah started the charity Oprah's Angel Network to help poor children all over the world. In 2007, she opened a special school in Johannesburg, the Oprah Winfrey Academy for Girls. She says, When I was a kid, we were poor and we didn't have much money. So what did I do? I studied hard. There are 152 girls at the school. Oprah calls them her daughters, the children she didn't have in real life. Tape script 6.5 1. Where did her father work? In a coal mine. 2. What did her mother do? She cleaned houses. 3. Who did Oprah live with? Her grandmother. 4. What did she study? Drama. 5. When did she interview Michael Jackson? In 1993. 6. How much did she earn last year? $260 million. 7. When did she open the girls' school? In 2007. 8. Did her parents earn much money? No, they didn't. Tape script 6.6. .6. Pronunciation. Worked. D. Lived. Id. Started. Tape script 6.7. Cleaned. Received. Studied. Wanted. Moved. Talked, watched, interviewed, opened, decided. Tape script 6.8. Interview with Ben Way. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you. Can you tell us a bit about your life? Well, I was born on September the 28th, 1980, in Devon, in the southwest of England. Mm. And what did your parents do? My dad was an accountant and my mum was an artist. Did you go to school in Devon? Yes, I did. I went to a small village school. Mm. Did you enjoy school? No, I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> I had problems because I was dyslexic and couldn't read and write. Oh, that's difficult. Yes. But when I was nine, my dad gave me a computer, and it changed my life. Mm. I loved it. I took it everywhere with me. I helped my friends and my parents' friends with their computers. Mm. Very good. And then? Uh, then I wrote my first software program when I was just 11. And when I was 15, I began my own computer company. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> was it successful? Yes, very successful. So successful that I left school at 16 and... Yes, I know. You were a millionaire at 17. <laughs> yes, I made my first million at 17. And at 19, I had 18.5 million. Mm. And at 20, you won Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Yes, I did. I often went on TV and radio and talked about it. Mm. Mm, it was amazing. And then, one year later... Yes, and then just a year later, when I was 21, 
I lost everything. Disaster. Dot-com businesses everywhere went down. Mm. Yeah, but now you're up again. <laughs> another company, another million. I know. I work hard, but I'm also very lucky. Tape script 6.9. Regular and irregular verbs. 1. My granddad was born in 1932. He died in 2009. 2. My parents met in London in 1983. They got married in 1985. 3. I arrived late for the lesson. It began at 2 o'clock. 4. I caught the bus to school today. It took just 40 minutes. 5. I had a very busy morning. I sent 30 emails before 10 o'clock. 6. Our football team won the match 3-0. Your team lost again. 7. My brother earned a lot of money in his last job, but he left because he didn't like it. 8. I studied Chinese for four years, but when I went to Shanghai, I couldn't understand a word. Tape script 6.10 A biography The multimillionaire Ben Wei Ben Wei is 35 years old and he runs a company called Rainmakers. Ben's a computer millionaire. However, he wasn't always so successful. As a child, he was dyslexic, so he didn't do well at school. He didn't read or write until he was nine, and his father gave him a computer. He wrote his first software program when he was eleven. He didn't go to university because at fifteen he started his own company. He first became a millionaire when he was just seventeen. He continued to be very successful until he was twenty-one. He won a business award in two thousand. But then, in 2001, he lost it all. One year later, he started Rainmakers, and now he's a millionaire again. Tape script 6.11 The Businessman and the Fisherman Good morning. What beautiful tuna. How long did it take to catch them? Oh, about two hours. Only two hours? Amazing. Why didn't you fish for longer and catch more? I didn't want to fish for longer. With this, I have enough fish for my family. But what do you do with the rest of your day? Aren't you bored? <laughs> I'm never bored. I get up late, play with my children, watch football, and take a siesta with my wife. Sometimes in the evenings, I walk to the village to see my friends play the guitar, and sing some songs. Really? That's all you do? Look, I am a very successful businessman. I went to Harvard University and I study business. Uh -huh. I can help you. Fish for four hours every day and sell the extra fish you catch. Uh, but... Uh, then you can buy a bigger boat, catch more and earn more money. But... Then uh, buy a second boat, a third, and, and so on, until you have a big fleet of fishing boats. But... And you uh, can export the fish and leave this village and move to Mexico City or L.A. or New York and open a fishing business. Okay, okay, okay. But how long will all this take? Uh... Let me think. Um, probably about 15 to 20 years. 15 to 20 years? And then what, senor? <laughs> Why, that's the exciting part. You can sell your business and become very rich. A millionaire. A millionaire? Really? But what do I do with all the money? Well, let me think. Um... I know. You can stop work and uh, move to a lovely old fishing village where you can sleep late, 
play with your grandchildren, watch football, take a siesta with your wife, mm -hmm. and walk to the village in the evenings, where you can play the guitar and sing with your friends all you want. Hmm. Well... Papa! Papa! Papa did you catch me any fish? <laughs> I caught enough for us today and tomorrow, and also some for this gentleman. <laughs> Please, senor, have some of my beautiful fish. Goodbye, senor. Come on, children. Let's go home. Tape script 6.12 Describing feelings 1. I went to bed late last night, so I'm very tired today. 2. My football team lost again. I'm really annoyed. 3. I won £20,000 in the lottery. I'm so excited! Four. I can't find my house keys. I'm really worried. Five. I have nothing to do and nowhere to go. I am so bored. Six. The professor gave a great lecture. I was really interested. Tape script 6.13 1. Did you enjoy the film? No, I didn't. It was boring. Oh, I loved it. It was really interesting and very funny. I didn't laugh once. 2. How was your exam? Awful. I'm very worried. But you worked really hard. I know. I studied until two in the morning, but then I was so tired today I couldn't read the questions. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be okay. Three. That was a great match. Really exciting. Only because your team won. I was bored. But it wasn't boring at all. It was a fantastic game. Well, I didn't enjoy it. And now I'm annoyed because I paid £45 for my ticket. Four. When's Nina's birthday? You mean, when was her birthday? It was last Friday, March the 24th. Oh, no. Was she annoyed that I forgot? No, no. She was just worried that you didn't like her anymore. Tape script 6.14 First Second Third Fourth Fifth Sixth Tenth Twelfth Thirteenth Sixteenth Seventeenth Twentieth Twenty-second Thirtieth, thirty-first. Tape script 6.15. What's the date? The 1st of April. April the 1st. The 2nd of March. March the 2nd. The 17th of September. September the 17th. The 9th of November. November the 9th. The 29th of February, 1976. December the 19th, 1983. The 3rd of October, 1999. May the 31st, 2005. July the 15th, 2015. Tape script 6.16 1. October the 31st 2. The 23rd of June 3. July the 15th 4. March the 4th, 2012 5. The 18th of February, 2020. 
Six. The seventeenth of September, nineteen sixty. Unit seven. Tape script seven point one. Twentieth century quiz. One. Henry Ford sold the first Model T in nineteen o eight. Two. The first talking movie, The Jazz Singer, was in nineteen twenty seven. Three. Einstein published his theory of relativity about one hundred years ago. Four. The Russian Revolution was in nineteen seventeen. Five. The first non-stop flight around the world was about sixty years ago. Six. About sixty million people died in the Second World War. Seven. The Berlin Wall came down in nineteen eighty-nine. Eight. Man first landed on the moon on July the twentieth, nineteen sixty-nine. Nine. The Beatles had seventeen number one hits in the UK. Ten. The twentieth century ended at midnight on the thirty-first of December, two thousand. Tape script seven point two. The good old days. Granddad, when you were a boy, did you have television? <laughs> of course, we had television, but it wasn't a colour TV like now. It was black and white. And were there lots and lots of channels? <laughs> How many TV channels were there? Only two, but that was enough. We loved it, and there weren't programs all day long. Nothing in the morning and nothing in the afternoon. Oh no! <laughs> What time did programs begin? At four thirty, when children's TV started. There were some great programs for us children. I can tell you, we had real stories in those days. Did your mum and dad give you pocket money? Yes, but I worked for it. I cleaned the kitchen and did the washing up. We didn't have dishwashers in those days.、Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> How much pocket money did you get? My dad gave me sixpence a week. That's two and a half p these days. He didn't give me much, did he? But we bought comics and sweets. What sort of comics did you buy? Well, I bought a comic called The Eagle, and it was full of adventure stories and Superman. That was really exciting. Wow! Did you have holidays? Yes, but not like nowadays. People didn't go abroad. I never took a plane like people do now. It was too expensive. Where did you go on holiday? To the seaside in England. How did you get there? My father drove. We had a Ford car, a Ford Prefect. It was. <sighs> We went to the same place every year. <laughs> Why did you go to the same place? Why didn't you go somewhere different? Because we all liked it there. Oh, I'm pleased I wasn't alive then. It sounds really boring. Oh no, that's where you're wrong. It was the best fun ever. Tape script seven point three. One. How many TV channels were there? Two. What time did programs begin? Three. How much pocket money did you get? Four. What sort of comics did you buy? Five. Where did you go on holiday? Six. How did you get there? Seven. Why did you go to the same place? Tape script seven point four. One. Where did you go? To the shops. Two. When did you go? Yesterday. Three. Who did you go with? A friend from work. Four. How did you get there? By bus. 
Five. Why did you go? Because I wanted to. Six. What did you buy? A shirt. Seven. How many did you buy? Only one. Eight. How much did you pay? Twenty-nine pounds. Tape script seven point five, listening and pronunciation. One. Where do you want to go? Two. I didn't go to college. Three. Where was he? Four. Do you like it? Five. Why did he come? Six. She doesn't work there. Tape script seven point six. Elisa's life. You aren't English, are you, Elisa? Where are you from? No, I'm Russian. I was born in Saint Petersburg. Is that where you grew up? Yes, I lived with my parents and two sisters in a house near the university. My father worked at the university. Oh, how interesting! What was his job? Was he a teacher? Yes, he was a professor of psychology. Really? And what did your mother do? She was a doctor. She worked in a hospital. So where did you go to school? I went to a Catholic high school. I was there for ten years. Then, when I was eighteen, I went to university.、Mm, what did you study? I studied philosophy and education at the university in Moscow.、Mm. I was there for four years. Wow! And did you start work after that? No, I travelled in the states for six months. I worked in a summer camp near Yellowstone National Park. It was amazing. It sounds great. And what's your job now? I work in a junior high school in Paris. I teach Russian and English. Your English is really good. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Elisa. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Tape script seven point seven. In 1909, Blériot made the first air journey from Calais to Dover. Blériot was just. Thirty-seven years old when he flew across the Channel, it took him just thirty-seven minutes. He took off from France at four thirty in the morning. He flew his plane at forty miles per hour. He flew at two hundred and fifty feet above the sea. He won a prize of one thousand pounds. In 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. Three astronauts flew in Apollo 11. The rocket took three days to get to the moon. It circled the moon thirty times. It landed. At 8:17 a.m. on the 20th of July 1969, 600 million people watched on TV. Neil Armstrong said, "That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind." The astronauts spent 22 hours on the moon. Tape script seven point eight. Noises in the night. It was about two o'clock in the morning, and suddenly I woke up. I heard a noise. I got out of bed and went slowly downstairs. There was a light on in the living room. I listened carefully. I could hear two men speaking very quietly. Burglars, I thought. Immediately, I ran back upstairs and phoned the police. I was really frightened. Fortunately, the police arrived quickly. 
They opened the front door and went into the living room. Then they came upstairs to see me. It's all right now, sir, they explained. We turned the television off for you. Tape script 7.8 Noises in the night It was about two o'clock in the morning and suddenly I woke up. I heard a noise. I got out of bed and went slowly downstairs. There was a light on in the living room. I listened carefully. I could hear two men speaking very quietly. Burglars, I thought. Immediately I ran back upstairs and phoned the police. I was really frightened. Fortunately, the police arrived quickly. They opened the front door and went into the living room. Then they came upstairs to see me. It's all right now, sir, they explained. We turned the television off for you. Tape script 7.9 Special Occasions 1. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Happy birthday to you. 2. Did you get any Valentine cards? Yes, I did. Listen to this. Roses are red, violets are blue. You are my Valentine and I love you. Wow. Do you know who it's from? No idea. Three. Mummy, Daddy, wake up! It's Christmas! <clears throat> what time is it? It's morning. Look. Father Christmas gave me this present. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Merry Christmas, darling. Four. Congratulations. It's great news. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're both very happy. Mm. So, when's the big day? Pardon? Your wedding day. When is it? December the 12th. You'll get an invitation. Five. What were you doing? <laughs> it's midnight. Happy New Year, everyone! <laughs> Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! <laughs> Six. Wake up, Mummy! Happy Mother's Day! Thank you, darling. Oh, what beautiful flowers. And a cup of tea. Well, aren't I lucky? And we made you a card. Look! It's beautiful. What clever children you are. Seven. Thank goodness it's Friday. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Same to you. Unit 8. Tape script 8.1. Starter. List A. Tea. Coffee. Wine. Cheese. Yogurt. Pasta. Ice cream. Apple juice. Bread. Milk. Chocolate. Broccoli. List B. Bananas. Apples. Strawberries. Potatoes. Carrots. Peas. Onions. Tomatoes, eggs, biscuits, crisps, chips. Tape script 8.2. Who's a fussy eater? Oh, good. 
We have some tomatoes. Oh, uh, sorry, Nick. I don't like them. Come on, Duncan. Tomatoes are good for you. I didn't like them much when I was a child, but I love them now. Hmm. I didn't like a lot of things when I was a kid. Ah, you were a fussy eater. What didn't you like? I didn't like any green vegetables. Did you like any vegetables at all? Only potatoes. I love chips. <laughs> what about fruit? Did you like fruit? I liked some fruit, but not all. I didn't like bananas. I liked fruit juice. I drank a lot of apple juice. And now you drink beer and wine. Yeah, and coffee. But I didn't like coffee or tea when I was a kid. So, what were your favourite foods? I liked ice cream, chocolate, crisps, biscuits, especially chocolate biscuits. Uh, you know, I liked all the usual things kids like. All the unhealthy things. I like pasta too. Pasta with tomato sauce. Oh, I love that. Tomato sauce. But you don't like tomatoes. Tomato sauce is different. Hey, let's not eat in tonight. Let's go out to Romano's. Romano's, a great idea. It's my favourite Italian restaurant. Tape script eight point three. Good evening, guys. Are you ready to order? I think we are. What would you like, Nick? Pasta, of course. I love pasta. I'd like the spaghetti bolognese. Uh, same for me, please. I really like spaghetti. Great. And would you like the wine list? No thanks. Just a glass of red for me.、Uh, would you like some wine, Nick? Yes, but I don't like red wine. I'd like a glass of dry white, if that's okay. That's fine. Oh, and can we have some water too, please? Of course. Would you like sparkling or still? Just some tap water, thanks. No problem. Tape script eight point four. One. Excuse me. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like a steak, please. Two. Would you like a sandwich? No, thanks. I'm not hungry. Three. Do you like Ella? Yes, she's very nice. Four. Would you like a cold drink? Yes, please. Do you have any apple juice? Five. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like some stamps, please. Six. What sports do you do? Well, I like skiing very much. Tape script eight point five. One. What kind of wine do you like? Two. Would you like a cheese and ham sandwich? Three. Who's your favourite author? Four. What do you want for your birthday? Five. Do you have any pets? Six. Do you want some ice cream for dessert? Tape script eight point six. One. What kind of wine do you like? I like French wine, especially red wine. Two. Would you like a cheese and ham sandwich? Just cheese, please. I don't like ham. Three. Who's your favourite author? I like books by Patricia Cornwell. Four. What do you want for your birthday? I'd like a new computer. Five. Do you have any pets? No, but I'd like a dog. Six. Do you want some ice cream for dessert? No, thanks. I don't like ice cream. Tape script eight point seven. Eating in. This recipe for cottage pie looks easy, but I can't cook at all. Don't worry, I really like cooking. Now, vegetables. Do we have any onions? Are there any carrots or potatoes? Ah,、uh, 
Well, there are some onions, but there aren't any carrots, and we don't have many potatoes. How many do we need? Four big ones. Okay. Put potatoes on your list. And how many tomatoes are there? Only two small ones. Put them on the list too. How much milk is there? There's a lot, but there isn't much cheese or butter. Okay, cheese and butter. What about herbs? Do we have any thyme? Yeah, that's fine. But don't forget the minced beef. How much do we need? Five hundred grams. Now, is that everything? Uh, I think so. Do we have oil? Oh, yeah. Now there's some left in the bottle. Okay. First shopping, then I'll give you a cooking lesson. Oh, I'd like that. I hope the girls like cottage pie. Everyone likes cottage pie. Tape script 8.8. .8. Much or many? One. How much toast would you like? Just one slice, please. Two. How much yogurt do we have left? Not a lot. Just one strawberry and one raspberry. Three. How many people were at the wedding? About a hundred and fifty. Four. How much money do you have in your pocket? Just fifty p. Five. How much petrol is there in the car? It's full. Six. How many children does your brother have? Two. A boy and a girl. Seven. How many days is it until your birthday? It's tomorrow. Eight. How much time do you need for this exercise? Two more minutes. Tape script eight point nine. What's your favourite sandwich? Angus. I come from the north of England, and we often call sandwiches butties. My favourite butty is made with thick slices of white bread and thick slices of warm ham with hot mustard. Yes, warm ham. Mmm, delicious. Would you like to try one? Ulla. I'm from Denmark, so for me it's the open sandwich, of course, and my favourite is with beef. Thin slices of beef, rare beef, with some crispy fried onions on the top. I love this. Tom. Oh, the best sandwich in the world is definitely a bacon sandwich. Hot bacon between thin slices of white bread and with lots of tomato ketchup. Simple and very, very tasty. There's a cafe near where I work in London. I sometimes buy one for breakfast. Mmm, I'd like one right now. Marianne. I live in Italy, so my best is Italian. A ciabatta with chopped tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, with black olives and basil. Mozzarella's my favourite cheese, and I like cooking with it. I make my own pizza. John. I was in Turkey by the sea, and a fisherman called to me, Come, try a balik ekmek. I think this means fish in bread. He gave me a sandwich. It was fresh mackerel grilled and in a bread roll with raw onions. Fabulous. Tape script 8.10. Daily needs. Aspirin. Chocolate. Notebook. Scissors. Adapter. Envelopes. Plasters. Sellotape. Toothpaste. Shampoo. Batteries.
screwdriver. Magazine. Newspaper. Tape script 8.11. Shopping in the high street. One. I'd like some batteries, please. What sort do you want? Double A, please. Would you like a packet of four or six? Six is too many. Four is enough. Anything else? That's all, thanks. Two. Can I have some toothpaste, please? Small or large? Well, the large is too big. The small is fine. Anything else? No, thanks. How much is that? Three. I'm looking for a nice pen. What about this one? It's twenty-five pounds. No, that's too much. I don't want to spend that much. Well, this one is twelve pounds. That's better. And I need some pencils as well. There are ten pencils in this packet. But I only want to. I'm afraid I only have packets of ten. Sorry. Tape script eight point twelve. I'd like a coffee, please. I want a latte. Give me some cake with that. Can I have a sandwich? A cup of tea. Could you bring me a smoothie? Tape script eight point thirteen. Sounding polite. Hi. What can I get you? I'd like a latte, please. Sure. Have in or take away. Have in. And what size do you want? Small, medium, or large? Large, please. Would you like anything to eat? A croissant? Some toast? I'd like some toast, please. No problem. Can I have some honey with the toast? Sure. Take a seat, and I'll bring it over. New Headway Elementary, fourth edition, by Liz and John Saws. Class CD. Published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2011. CD three. Unit nine. Tape script nine point one. City living. One. This city is in the southeast of the country. It's very big and very old. It's about fifty kilometers from the sea, and it's on a famous river, the River Thames. Two. This city. Is in the north and centre of the country. It's about two hundred kilometres from the sea, and it's on the River Seine. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Tape script nine point two. Which do you prefer, London or Paris? Well, I'm from Paris, so of course I love Paris. London's a lot bigger than Paris. It's true. Paris is much smaller, but it's more romantic. Yes, this is what people say. And the food is better. Well, I'm not so sure about that. Tape script nine point three. One. The Eiffel Tower is taller than the Gherkin. Two. The underground's more expensive than the metro. Three. Paris is warmer than London. Four. Paris is wetter than London. Five. I think the buildings in Paris are more beautiful. Six. I think the people in London are nicer. Tape script nine point four. Well, I like both London and Paris, but they're very different cities. Take transport, for example. The metro is cheaper and easier to use than the underground. 
And the weather, well, Paris is certainly hotter than London. And Paris, in fact, is wetter than London. But in London, there are more wet days. What about the buildings? Well, people say that the architecture in Paris is more beautiful, but the buildings in London are more interesting. And living in the two cities, well, life is faster in London. And the people, hmm, Londoners are generally more polite than Parisians. People in London work harder and they earn more. In Paris, having a good time is more important. Tape script 9.5. Comparing cities. 1. New York is older than London. No, it isn't. New York is much more modern. 2. Tokyo is cheaper than Bangkok. No, it isn't. Tokyo's much more expensive. 3. Seoul is bigger than Beijing. No, it isn't. Seoul is much smaller. 4. Johannesburg is safer than Cape Town. No, it isn't. It's much more dangerous. 5. Taxi drivers in New York are better than taxi drivers in London. No, they aren't. They're much worse. Tape script 9.6. A Parisian in London. Hello, Chantal. Hi. Now, you're French, but you live in London, is that right? Yes, that's right. And are you on your own here in London? <laughs> no, no. I'm here with my husband, André. Ah, OK. Do you work in London? Yes, I do. I've got a good job. I work in a bank. And where do you live in London? Have you got a flat? Yes, we've got a nice flat in Camden. Oh, great. Has André got a job? Yes, he has. He's got a shop in Camden. He sells French cheese. Wow, that's good. And tell me, have you got a car here? No, I haven't got a car. I go everywhere on public transport. It's much easier. OK, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Tape script 9.6. A Parisian in London. Hello, Chantal. Hi. Now, you're French, but you live in London, is that right? Yes, that's right. And are you on your own here in London? <laughs> no, no. I'm here with my husband, André. Ah, OK. Do you work in London? Yes, I do. I've got a good job. I work in a bank. And where do you live in London? Have you got a flat? Yes, we've got a nice flat in Camden. Oh, great. Has André got a job? Yes, he has. He's got a shop in Camden. He sells French cheese. Wow, that's good. And tell me, have you got a car here? No, I haven't got a car. I go everywhere on public transport. It's much easier. OK, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Tape script 9.7 1. We've got a nice flat. 2. I've got a French husband. 3. He's got a business in Camden. 4. Have you got a lot of friends? 5. How many brothers and sisters have you got? 6. I haven't got any brothers. I've got a sister called Natalie. 7. Natalie's got a big house. 8. You've got a good English accent. Tape script 9.8. Camden. It's got the largest street market in the UK. The market's busiest at the weekend. The food is the cheapest in North London. 
It's got the most amazing clothes. The Electric Ballroom is the oldest nightclub in Camden. Proud is one of the coolest clubs in Camden. Tape script 9.9 .9. It's the biggest. 1. The tallest building in London is Canary Wharf. It's 235 metres. 2. The most expensive hotel is the Lanesborough. It costs £7,000 per night. 3. The biggest park in central London is Hyde Park. It's 142 hectares. 4. The most popular tourist attraction is the London Eye. It has 10,000 visitors a day. 5. The most famous building is Buckingham Palace. Everyone knows who lives there. 6. The best restaurant for spotting celebrities is the Ivy. They all go there. Tape script 9.10 A megacity is a city with more than 10 million inhabitants. The largest megacity is in fact Tokyo. The next biggest is Mexico City. Third is Mumbai. Fourth is New York, with about 22 million people. And last, the smallest is Shanghai, which has about 18.4 million. Sometime in 2008, for the first time in the history of the world, more people on Earth lived in cities than in rural areas. Tape script 9.11 Makiko from Tokyo The first thing to say about Tokyo is that it is very safe. Women can walk everywhere, anytime, day or night. Little children walk to school. You can leave something on the table in a restaurant while you go out for a minute and nobody will take it. Tokyo is also very clean and it is very easy to travel around. All the trains and buses run on time. Personally, my favorite time of year is spring, when it's dry and the cherry blossom is out. Tokyo is a very exciting city because there are always new things to do, new places to go, new things to eat. It changes very quickly. Vimal from Mumbai I have two strong impressions of Mumbai. First, it is a city that is so full of activity. It is busy, 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 all day long and all night long. It's a city that doesn't sleep much. The day begins early because it is so hot. It's a noisy place. There are cars going beep, beep, auto rickshaws by the thousand... Fast trains rushing past, vendors shouting and trying to get you to buy their food, their drinks, their clothes. And people, people everywhere trying to get to work. The second thing to say is that the people are very, very enthusiastic. Life isn't easy in Mumbai for a lot of people, but we really work hard and we really want to do our best. Every new day brings new possibilities. The future is exciting for us. Lourdes from Mexico City There are three things I like about living in Mexico City. First, the weather. It is warm and sunny most of the year. The second is the fresh fruit and vegetables. The markets are wonderful. The colors and smells are great. And the third is that I'm never bored because there is so much to see and do. We have museums, theaters, art exhibitions, parks, restaurants, bars, everything. My favorite time of year in Mexico City is the end of December, from the 16th to the 31st. 
The city is full of lights. There are parties everywhere, and we eat and drink and give presents. Everyone's really happy. I love it. Tape script 9.12. Directions. Go along George Street, past the Bristol Hotel on your left, and over the bridge. At the roundabout, turn left and go up Park Avenue. Go round the corner, through the wood, and down the hill. Then go under the railway bridge, and you are on the A312 to Dorchester. Tape script 9.13. One. Go along George Street, past the hotel, and over the River Sherwell. Go straight over the roundabout, and it's in front of you on the hill to your left. Two. Go straight past the hotel and over the bridge until you get to a roundabout. At the roundabout, follow signs to the town centre. Go past a petrol station on your left, over a pedestrian crossing, and past a set of traffic lights. At the roundabout, turn right. You're in street. Three. Go over the bridge, the River Sherwell, and turn right into the town centre. Go straight on, past the traffic lights, and over a roundabout. When you're in the square, it's on the left-hand side, next to the museum, opposite the town hall. Unit 10. Tape script 10.1. 1. One. I'm cooking. Two. I'm reading the paper. Three. I'm watching the football. Four. I'm working on my laptop. Tape script 10.2. One. Hello. Hi, Tony. It's Nina. Where are you? We're on the train. We're going to Birmingham for the weekend. Oh, great. How's the journey? Fine. I'm reading the paper, and Alice is doing something on her laptop. Two. Hello. Fiona, hi. It's Pete. How are you? What are you doing? Fine. We're at home. I'm just cooking some dinner. What's Tim doing? He's watching the football. Oh. Can't you hear? Oh, right. Tape script 10.3. 1. What's Tony doing? He's reading the paper. 2. What's Alice doing? She's doing something on her laptop. 3. Where are Tony and Alice going? They're going to Birmingham. 4. What's Fiona cooking? She's cooking dinner. Five. What's Tim watching? He's watching the football. Tape script 10.4. Oh, hi, Dad. Are you OK? Yes, fine. Are you all right? Where are you? Yeah, great. I'm at Ellie's house. We're sitting in her bedroom. Ah, OK. And what are you doing at Ellie's house? We're, uh, 
or... Working on the internet. Oh, right. Is this schoolwork? Yeah, I'm doing my homework. Who's that shouting? That's... Uh, Ellie's sister. We're looking after her. Really? Okay, well, see you later then. Bye. I'll be home about six, Dad. Bye. Tape script 10.5 1. Alice is sleeping. 2. Alice and Tony are going to Manchester. 3. Fiona's cooking lunch. 4. Tim's watching a film. 5. Beth's doing her homework. 6. Beth and Ellie are sitting in Ellie's bedroom. Tape script 10.6. Who's who? Oh dear, I don't know anybody. Who are they all? Don't worry, they're all very nice. I'll tell you who everybody is. Can you see that man over there? Uh, the man near the window? Yes, that's Paul. He's talking to Sophie. He's a banker, very rich and very funny. He works in New York. Wow, so he's Paul. Okay. And that's Sophie next to him? Yes, she's laughing at Paul's jokes. <gasps> she's lovely. She's a professor at Bristol University. She teaches business studies. Mm. And who's that woman on the left? That's Helena. She's drinking champagne. She's a writer. She writes stories for children. They're excellent. A very nice lady. And who's that man she's talking to? Helena's talking to Roger. Roger's eating crisps. He's an interesting man. He's an art dealer. He works for the British Museum. Really? Wow, what a job. So that's Paul and Sophie, Helena and Roger. Now, there are two more. Who are they? They're Sam and Penny. They're looking at a photo on Sam's phone. And what do they do? They're designers. They make clothes for children. OK. So, that's everybody. <laughs> Thanks. That's all right. Tape script 10.6. Who's who? Oh, dear. I don't know anybody. Who are they all? Don't worry. They're all very nice. I'll tell you who everybody is. Can you see that man over there? Uh... The man near the window? Yes, that's Paul. He's talking to Sophie. He's a banker, very rich and very funny. He works in New York. Wow, so he's Paul. OK. And that's Sophie next to him? Yes, she's laughing at Paul's jokes. <gasps> she's lovely. She's a professor at Bristol University. She teaches business studies. Mm. And who's that woman on the left? That's Helena. She's drinking champagne. She's a writer. She writes stories for children. They're excellent. A very nice lady. And who's that man she's talking to? Helena's talking to Roger. Roger's eating crisps. He's an interesting man. He's an art dealer. He works for the British Museum. Really? Wow, what a job. So that's Paul and Sophie, Helena and Roger... Now, there are two more. Who are they? They're Sam and Penny. They're looking at a photo on Sam's phone. And what do they do? They're designers. They make clothes for children. OK. So, that's everybody. <laughs> Thanks. That's all right. Tape script 10.7 Everything was too expensive. 1. Did you buy anything at the shops? No, nothing. Why not? Everything was too expensive. What a pity. But I bought something for you. Happy birthday. Oh. Two. Did you talk to anybody interesting at the party? No, nobody. Why not? Everybody was dancing. And the music was really loud. Oh. But I danced with somebody beautiful, a girl called Kate. Mmm, 
Three. Did you go anywhere on Saturday night? No, nowhere. Why not? Everywhere was closed. There wasn't one club open. That's incredible. So next weekend, I'm going somewhere more interesting. Oh. Tape script 10.8. An interview with an astronaut. Soichi, what exactly is your job? I'm an aeronautical engineer, and I'm a JAXA astronaut. Uh, what is JAXA? JAXA is the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. What did you study at university? Well, I studied engineering, of course. Aeronautical engineering. Where did you study? Uh, which university? I studied at the University of Tokyo, and I graduated in 1991. Which part of Japan are you from? I'm from Yokohama, Kanagawa, which is part of Tokyo. Are you married? Yes, and I have three children. What do you like doing when you're on Earth? Well, I guess my hobbies are jogging and basketball. And I like skiing and camping with my kids. What are you doing on the space station at the moment? I'm doing quite a few spacewalks. I'm going out into space and I'm checking the instruments on the outside of the space station to make sure they're working properly. You're part of the Russian crew. What does this mean? It means that my commander is Oleg Kotov from Roscosmos and I'm working in his team. We're studying weather conditions in space and we're doing experiments with plants. To see how they grow in zero gravity. What do you do when you aren't working? Well, I spend a lot of time just looking down at you on Earth. And I think how lucky I am to be here. And I wish that everyone could see the Earth from space. Maybe people would stop fighting if they could see how beautiful our planet is. Tape script 10.9. Who is it? One. She's got dark brown hair and she's quite pretty. She's wearing boots and a hat and a red scarf and she's jumping in the air. She looks really happy. Two. He's got short dark hair. He's wearing trainers and a purple t shirt and he's carrying a ball. He isn't very tall. Three. She's wearing a scarf. She's pretty, and she's got long blonde hair and blue eyes. She isn't smiling. She doesn't look very friendly. Four. He doesn't look very happy. Perhaps he's a businessman. He's wearing a white shirt and a striped tie. He's also wearing black glasses. Tape script 10.10 .10. Social Expressions 1. Patrick and I are getting married. Wow! That's fantastic! Congratulations! Thanks! We're both very excited and a bit nervous. 2. Can I help you? No, I'm just looking, thanks. Just tell me if you need anything. That's very kind. Three. Don't forget it's a bank holiday on Monday. Uh, sorry, what does that mean? It means it's a national holiday. The garage is closed. Most places are closed. Four. We're going to the cinema tonight. Oh, lovely. Well, I hope you enjoy the film. Thanks. I'll tell you all about it. Great. Five. Excuse me. This machine isn't working. I'm sorry. Let me have a look. Ah, it isn't switched on. That's why. 
Oh, great. Thank you very much. No problem. Six. Hi. Can I speak to Dave, please? I'm afraid he isn't here at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes. Could you ask him to phone Kevin? Sure. I'll do that. Seven. Thanks for the invitation to your party, but I'm afraid I can't come. What a pity. Never mind. I'm going away that weekend. It's OK. Another time. Eight. Bye. Have a safe journey. Thanks. We'll see you in a couple of days. I hope you have a good time. We'll try. Unit 11. Tape script 11.1. .1. Planning my future. 1. When I get home, I'm going to relax with my wife. 2. When I grow up, I'm going to be a racing driver. 3. When the kids are in bed, I'm going to sit down and have a glass of wine. 4. When I get a pay rise, I'm going to buy my girlfriend a ring. 5. When I arrive on Koh Samui Island, I'm going to lie on the beach. 6. When I retire, I'm going to learn to play golf. 7. When this lesson ends, I'm going to meet my friends for coffee. Tape script 11.2. Listen and repeat. What's Alan going to do? He's going to relax. What's Jason going to do? He's going to be a racing driver. Tape script 11.3 1 When I get home, I'm going to relax with my wife. I'm not going to talk about work. 2 When I grow up, I'm going to be a racing driver. I'm not going to work in an office like my dad. 3. When the kids are in bed, I'm going to sit down and have a glass of wine. I'm not going to do the washing. 4. When I get a pay rise, I'm going to buy my girlfriend a ring. I'm not going to buy a new car. 5. When I arrive on Koh Samui Island, I'm going to lie on the beach. I'm not going to check emails for a week. 6. When I retire, I'm going to learn to play golf. I'm not going to stay home and do nothing. 7. When this lesson ends, I'm going to meet my friends for coffee. I'm not going to do my homework. Tape script 11.4. Careful, you're going to drop it. 1. What a pity. It's going to rain. He can't play tennis. 2. Look at the time. He's going to be late for his meeting. 3. Oh, come on! Come on! She's going to win! Four. Oh no! Jack's on top of the wall. He's going to fall. Five. Careful! She's going to drop the vase. Too late. Six. They're so excited. They're going to have a baby. It's due in July. Seven. There's my sister and her boyfriend. Ugh! They're going to kiss. Eight. He's going to sneeze. Who's you? Bless you. Tape script 11.5. We're off to see the world. First, we're going to Egypt. Why? D to see the pyramids? 
Well, yes, but also we want to take a cruise down the Nile. Fantastic. Where are you going off to that? Well, then we're going to Tanzania to... Wow! You're going to climb Kilimanjaro. Tape script 11.6. We are off to see the world. First, we're going to Egypt. Why? D to see the pyramids? Well, yes, but also we want to take a cruise down the Nile. Fantastic. Where are you going off to that? Well, then we're going to Tanzania to... Wow! You're going to climb Kilimanjaro. Yes, and then we're flying to India. Are you going to visit the Taj Mahal? Of course, but we're also going on a tiger safari. You're going to see tigers? <laughs> well, we hope so. Then we're going to Cambodia to visit the temples of Angkor Wat and... Then to Australia to see Ayers Rock. We want to take photographs of it at sunset. Did you know it turns from pink to purple at sunset? Really? And are you going to Sydney? Oh, yes. We're taking a flight from Sydney to Antarctica. Yeah. It's a day trip to see the coldest place on Earth. I can't believe this. How many more places? <laughs> Two. We're flying from Sydney to Peru to... To see Machu Picchu, of course. <laughs> yes. And then from Peru to the US to Yellowstone Park to see the supervolcano and <laughs> perhaps some grizzly bears. Then home. Amazing. What a trip! How long is it going to take? Mm, nine months to a year, we think. Tape script 11.7 .7. Describing a holiday. 1. Where are they going? To the south of France. 2. When are they going? On May the 21st. 3. How are they travelling? By plane and hired car. 4. How long are they staying? For 10 days. 5. Where are they staying? In a house in a village. 6. What are they going to do? They're going to swim, go shopping in the markets, read and relax and eat in good restaurants. They're going to have a great time, aren't they? Yes, they really are. Tape script 11.8 .8. Song Ed, Will and Ginger Oats and Beans Oats and beans and barley grow As you and I and everyone knows Oats, Oats and beans and, beans and barley grows As you and I and everyone knows They're waiting for the partner First the farmer sows his seed Then he stands and takes his ease He stamps his feet, he claps his hands And turns around to view his lands They're waiting for the partner Now you're married you must obey Must be true in all you say you Must be kind and must be good And help your wife to chop the wood They're waiting for the partner Oats and beans and barley grow as you and I and everyone knows and oats and beans and barley grows As you and I and everyone knows Are waiting for the partner Tape script 11.9 What's the weather like? Here's Fiona with the weather for Europe for the next 24 hours Hello there Here's the forecast for Europe today At the moment, there's some wet and windy weather over the UK and Scandinavia and this is going to move south and east over Poland and Germany. Temperatures in Berlin and Warsaw are now about 20 degrees Celsius, but it's cooler in London, 19 degrees, and cooler still in Oslo, 17 degrees. To the south, it's a bit warmer. In Budapest, 23 degrees, but to the east, Cool and cloudy in Moscow, where the temperature is a welcome 15 degrees after all that extreme summer heat. Moving south, it's getting warmer, 24 degrees in Rome. But it's going to be cloudy and showery across much of Italy, and also over northern Turkey, with heavy rain in Istanbul and a temperature of 21 degrees. Most other Mediterranean countries are going to be warm and dry. Greece will be hot and sunny, with a lot of late summer sunshine. 28 degrees in Athens, 
and warmer still in Portugal and Spain, with temperatures up to 32 degrees. France is going to be cool and cloudy in the north, 20 degrees in Paris, and hot and stormy in the south, with a high of 29 degrees in Nice. And that's your European weather for today. I'll be back at lunchtime with an update. Thank you, Fiona. And our very... Tape script 11.10 What's the weather like? Tape script 11.11 .11. What's the weather like today? It's cool and cloudy. What was it like yesterday? Oh, it was wet and windy. Hmm. And what's it going to be like tomorrow? I think it's going to be warm and sunny. Tape script 11.12 .12. Making suggestions 1. What a lovely day. Yeah, it's really warm and sunny. What shall we do? Let's go for a walk. 2. What an awful day. It's raining again. I know. It's so cold and wet. What shall we do? Let's stay in and watch a DVD. Tape script 11.13 1. What a lovely day. Yeah, it's really warm and sunny. What shall we do? Let's go for a walk. Oh, no. It's too hot to walk. OK. Let's go to the beach. Good idea. Why don't we take a picnic? 2. What an awful day. It's raining again. I know. It's so cold and wet. What shall we do? Let's stay in and watch a DVD. Oh, no, that's boring. We did that last night. OK, then. Shall we go out for a coffee? Great. I'll get my coat and an umbrella. Unit 12. Tape script 12.1. Been there, done that. Hi, Lara. Are you and Mel ready for your trip? Yeah, nearly. We leave next Monday for Rome. Ah, Rome. I've been to Rome many times. Well, I've never been there. It's my first time in Europe. Really? What about your friend, Mel? She's been to London and Paris, but she hasn't been to Rome. Ah, London and Paris. I've been there too. I studied in Paris for a year before I went to work in New York. Have you ever been to the US? No, I haven't. I haven't travelled much at all, so I'm really excited. Oh, I've been to North and South America so many times. And I'm sure I've you have, Kyle. Oh dear, look at the time. Mel's waiting for me. We've got so much to do. Bye, Kyle. We'll uh, send you a postcard. Tape script 12.2 one. I've been to Rome many times. Two. I've never been there. Three. She's been to London and Paris. Four. She hasn't been to Rome. Five. I haven't travelled much at all. Six. I've been to North and South America. Tape script 12.3 Have you ever been to Greece? No, I haven't. Have you ever been to Italy? Yes, I have. When did you go? Two years ago. Where did you go? Rome, Florence and Venice. Fantastic. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. It was great. Tape script 12.4 Getting ready to go. Where's the list? I've got it. OK, let's check through. Uh, we've bought new backpacks. We did that a while ago. They look quite big. I hope we can carry them. No worries. I haven't finished packing mine yet. Have you? Not yet. Just one or two more things to go in. 
Oh, have you collected the euros from the bank? Yep. I've just collected 500 for you and 500 for me. All our savings. I hope it's enough. No worries. We can stay with my aunt in London. Have you emailed her yet? Yeah, she's just emailed back. She's going to meet us at the airport when we fly into London from Rome. Fantastic. Hey, look, I've just found out the weather in Rome for next week. Hot and sunny. Yay! <laughs> it's going to be so good. We're going to leave winter here and arrive in the middle of summer in Europe. <laughs> what about the tickets? I think we only need passports, but I've printed e-tickets just in case. But I haven't checked in online yet. You can only do that 24 hours before the flight. Oh, Mel, I am so excited. I can't wait. Tape script 12.5. Tense revision. I'm really excited about my trip to Europe. I haven't travelled much outside Australia before. Just once, two years ago, I went on holiday to Bali with my family. But I've never been to Europe or the US. I often travel inside Australia. Last year I flew to Perth to visit my cousin who lives there. It's a five-hour flight from Sydney, where I live. Australia's a big country. Also, I've been up to Cairns in the north three times. I learned to scuba dive there on the Great Barrier Reef. We've just finished packing, and now we're waiting for the taxi to take us to the airport. I've never flown on a 747 before. It's a very long flight. It takes 20 hours to get to Rome. I'm going to watch films all the way. I can't wait. Tape script 12.6. No, not yet. 1. Have you checked your emails yet? Yes, I've just checked them, but there wasn't one from you. 2. Have you done the shopping? No, I haven't. I'm too tired to go out. 3. Have you washed your hair? Yes, I've just washed it. 4. Have you cleaned the car yet? Yes, I've just cleaned your car and mine. 5. Mom, have you made the dinner yet? Yes, dinner's ready. Go and wash your hands. 6. Have you done the washing up yet? No, I did it last night. It's your turn. 7. Have you met the new student yet? Yes, I have. I met her on the way to school this morning. 8. Have you finished the exercise? Yes, I've just finished it. Thank goodness. Tape script 12.8. Elsa from Birmingham, England. OK, I've been to Glastonbury five times now. My highlights this year were pear cider to drink and the American diner van with the best sausages and chips ever. <laughs> However, I was very disappointed with the music on Saturday night. DJs played house music all night. I love house, but this was rubbish. I got really bored, so I went back to my tent to finish a bottle of pear cider with friends. 2. Daniel Evans from Wales Last Wednesday at 2.30 in the afternoon, I decided that I wanted to go to Glastonbury. I was lucky. I found a ticket on the Glastonbury message boards. I'm so glad I went. The music was brilliant. Sometimes it took a long time to get to the stages. The queues were long, but always friendly. In the busy real world, it's difficult to have good conversations with people. At Glastonbury, you can do this. It's a great festival with a great crowd of people. What more could you want? A hundred thousand friendly people. I wish the rest of life was the same. 
Four days out of 365 is a good start. Tape script 12.9. Take and get. One. Oh, it's really hot in here. Why don't you take off your jumper? Two. Is your office near where you live? No, it takes a long time to get to work. Three. What are your work colleagues like? Great. We all get on really well. Four. How often are there exhibitions in the museum? They take place regularly, every two months. Five. Do you like learning English? It's OK, but sometimes I get really bored. Tape script 12.10. One. The best way to get to the airport is to take a taxi. Two. How long does it take if you go by train? Three. I haven't got a camera. I take photos with my iPhone. Four. Sue has taken her driving test three times and she's failed every time. Five. Are you still getting ready? We're going to be so late. Six. The doctor told me to take it easy if I want to get better soon. Seven. It rained on the day we got married. We got very wet, but still had a great day. Eight. You can't get on the bus with that big dog. Please get off. Tape script 12.11. Travel announcements. One. The 11.55 for Newcastle, stopping at Peterborough, York and Darlington, is now ready to board on platform 10. There is a buffet car on this train. Please check that you have all your luggage with you. Two. This is the number 22 for Piccadilly Circus. Next stop, Green Park. Stand back from the doors, please. Three. Flight BA1536 to New York is now ready for boarding at gate 58. Will passengers in rows 12 to 20 please board first? Passengers are reminded to keep their hand luggage with them at all times. Tape script 12.12. .12. Conversation 1. Next, please. A day return to Oxford, please. That's £12.70. Thank you. What time does the next train leave? At 9.55. The platform number has just gone up on the departures board. Oh, yes, I can see. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good journey. Conversation 2. Excuse me, does the number 24 go to the Natural History Museum? No, it doesn't. You need the 360. Where can I get it? From that bus stop over there. Oh, thanks for your help. Don't mention it. Tape script 12.13. Have you checked in online? Yes, we have. Fine. How many suitcases have you got? Uh, we haven't got suitcases, just backpacks. Oh, yes. Uh, can you put them on the scales? Here you are. Uh... They're fine. And how many pieces of hand luggage? Just these bags. They're fine, too. Uh, you board from gate 9 at 10.20. Uh, where do we go now? To the departure gate and security check. They're over there. Oh. Have a nice flight. Thanks very much. Goodbye. Tape script 12.14. A poem. Why did you leave? When did you leave? I left at four in the morning. When did you leave? 
when the house was asleep. Where have you gone? To a huge, crowded city. Where have you gone? To a place where no one knows me. What did you take? Some money, not my mobile phone. What did you take? Not much, just memories. How did you travel? By taxi, by plane. How did you travel? I travelled alone. I have always travelled alone. Why did you leave? Because I wanted to see the world. Why did you leave? Because nobody listened. No one has ever listened to me. Why don't they listen? I don't know. I have never known. Why don't they listen? Because I have very little to say. When are you coming home? When I have become somebody. Do not wait.